Hello, I am Bishop Earl Boyer of the Diocese of Lansing. During this Advent season, we now make a shift from the end of the prophet Isaiah to the Gospel of Matthew as we continue our year of the Bible. Now, each Gospel will present Jesus in a slightly different way. Let us, as we read these chapters over the next 28 days, encounter the Lord as Matthew would have us see him. The key here is to see Jesus as a new Moses. Jesus is the final teacher, the one whose word is the word of the Son of God as he proclaims the kingdom of God. This will be easy to see in the five major talks which Jesus gives. The most famous, of course, is the Sermon on the Mount. But there are also his missionary directives to the Twelve, and then the wonderful chapter of parables. Finally, the last two of the talks are on community and on our care for one another, and Jesus' judgment on his times and the final judgment. Interweaving between all of these are the stories which we'll, we will find in the other Gospels, especially Mark. In those stories, however, Matthew will really want us to see that the church founded on Peter and his faith in Jesus is to be our context for living out the Christian life. But mostly, Matthew wants us to see that Jesus is the fulfillment of all God's plans, those plans announced by the prophets in the Old Testament, and those plans only now revealed in Jesus himself. Jesus is our salvation. At the beginning of the Gospel, we have the account of Jesus' birth and the strong focus on St. Joseph. This is a more masculine approach than the more feminine one presented in the Gospel of St. Luke. Then, like the other Gospels, we end with the account of the Last Supper and the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. This is the capstone to all that has come before. Without this reality of death leading to life, the rest of the gospel would make little sense. Jesus would just be a teacher and a miracle worker. But he is indeed the Son of God who offers us eternal life. Brothers and sisters, enjoy these four weeks as we together encounter the Lord in the Gospel of Matthew.